YouTube, what is up guys? I have a treat for you. You're about to go through a time warp to 20 years ago in Riverside, California and watch a whole day in my life. Back when I was on a skate trip with my friends. I didn't mean for this to happen. I forgot that I had filmed this. I had picked this box months ago with a bunch of my old stuff from my mom's house and inside this box had tapes from my teenage years, uh, then months later, I got this camera, and I was like, I can watch my old memories. So I started putting tapes in this, and the second tape that came up, it was my younger self saying, I'm gonna film a day in my life. And I was like, I do that now. So uh, here we go. 20 years later, I'm publishing this day in my life. Um, it's just a, a day at a skate trip with my friends out in Riverside, California, and I have California friends in it as well. Time warp time. Enjoy, and I'll talk more about this after the actual day in my life. Filming the day in the life today, my first one up, so I got to wake everybody up. Let's start with Jeff. Get up. You want to wake Scott up? Yeah. How are you going to do it? Get up! Oh. Film a day in the lab. Time to go skate. That's Alex. Right there. Let's see what his cell phone says. Gonna hand the camera over to Jeff now. Elliot, gonna pick us up. We're going to skate Rialto Park. See if we can rip up there. I have a cracked board today, so you probably won't be seeing that much of me. But Jeff, Scott, and Alex, and Elliot are a different story. You guys, how you make Power, what is, what is this? Power turf. Power turf? Power turf. <laughs> Uh, Brian Ames would be here, but he left because his mom made him. I have six or seven of these. <laughs> six or seven every day. Six? Maybe six. <laughs> in between camera shots, me and you uh, got in a fight, and we ended up breaking one of my mom's things. So this is the part of the day where we put it back together yeah, and make... Yeah. So next time she walks by it, <laughs> it'll, she'll, it'll fall, and she'll break it. So it's not our fault at all. I can't really fit it, so no, we'll just really fit. <laughs> we'll go like this. Wait, no. There we go. Well, looks good. <laughs> Every single time we come to California, we break stuff, and it's even. If we That's Alex, the technician. Let's see what's working on here. Give me your piece of tape. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> That's one that fell, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna have to do a little thing here called using a garbage disposal. Watch out, it might be a metal thing. I saw this in a movie once. <laughs> what are you looking at? Shut up. Mr. Red shirt every day. <laughs> Which board? A, my previous one, or B, the other previous one? When I tuned into a motion, whoa! Elliot's about to pick us up any second. They're like, recognize, recognize the fool we love your socks. That's Andy's injury. It hurts. Hi. We're gonna arrive there at 4.53. Hey buddies, why, why are we uh, still here? He's gonna take a shower and then, and then Brendan, he got caught up on the phone with Susie Q, his love kitten or whatever. He's gotta take a shower and then if Brennan calls, like within 20 minutes, we're gonna skate with Brennan also. Ew. <laughs> what? <coughs> Today we're filming a day in the life. Well, so you're not skating? Actually, we should go back to MLK tonight, uh, like before the sun goes down, so Jeff can all that gap. All right, guys, the deal. We're sitting here watching Maury, a bunch of girls and guys cheating on each other, and we're gonna go skate. He's coming here within the next half hour. Oh. He's a crab. Look at it's like falling off. Dog's like a mug. All right, every day before we leave, I ollie off this curb like this. It usually takes me a while. I used to be better at it. It's probably gonna take me a few tries here. That wasn't good enough. That was not it. <laughs> Wait. All right, let's see what Alex has to give. He does it first try. There's nothing, nothing that doubts that. <laughs> All right, dude. I'm gonna do it. Shut up. Yeah! Uh, we're gonna play a game of skate right here. Uh, 
Dude. Shut up! I'm not kidding. Chocolate is the winner! 50-50, dude. Jeff. We raided around the house all day, doing pretty much nothing except watching talk shows and eating. And now, we're skating to Polly. It's a very far skate, and it's gonna suck. But, we don't have any place to other skate, so, see you there. Starting now, what's <laughs> We're at Polly. Now we're sessioning in front of the three stair. over the wall too. It's good. Oh! I killed my ankle. You're right? <laughs> He's hopping around like a guy. I hurt my ankle after I landed. Is it like tickle or trick. something? You're laughing. No, it's just so stupid. Ah. We're here at Polly. We sessioned it for a little bit. We had some people on some stuff, but here comes Elliot. What up? What up, Elliot? Damn the life going. Right. People in Ohio, meet Elliot. What's up, peeps? We're hitting up crooks. <laughs> Talk. Alright. My knee's from ass. Dude, you gotta feel it. It's so sick. Uh -oh. Who is the culprit? Somebody put the board on top of Alex's. That was board. Scott! <laughs> Yeah, All right, dude, we're doing it. A, we're doing a uh, day yeah, in the beam off. Dude, day in the beam off. This is Cooks. What? Yeah. Alan, what up? Hey, we're doing the day in the life. Oh, that's Jojo. We're there. He lives in Riverside. You don't. What do you have to say about the, the beam mob? The day in the life of the beam mob would not be in Riverside, California. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cooks Skate Shop. So nobody knows what this looks like. They all know about it, but nobody knows. Let's just watch a skate video real fast. You like Kurt's skate shop? It's a good skate shop? Yeah, it's a really good skate shop. Yeah, it's, it's a really good skate shop. <laughs> Does that sound like that? <laughs> yeah, shut up. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get my dad to give a credit card number. Buy one. Credit card number, though, you have to pay taxes. How much would it be? Uh, 45. What are you doing? Trying to get a board. 46. 46? You have yours? Can't figure out the number. What do you need the number? So I can get a board. What's there? The ledges I was talking about. There's a huge 20 sir, a huge 15 sir, or 12 sir, or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, step out the tree. What are you filming me for? <laughs> I hate stupid guy. Let's yell something from a car. Let's yell stuff to cars. Ten of us out. Skater die! Let's go to Carl's Jr. and then we'll go skate. Come on. Let's come get a pizza. We'll drop you off. Come on. No, but I have to bring it back. For why? We're gonna drive and in your vehicle. In my vehicle. Bunker dum dum. Bunker dum dum. I don't even know who you are. They don't. I know it's gonna Say, be great. What's your name? My name's Brendan. How you doing? I was on the mall. I was on the other videos. I was wearing a cowboy hat. 
<laughs> Zap him. Like anyway, we're gonna go to Rubido. No, 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 you got it wrong already. Oh, we gotta go to College Junior first to feed the hungry Alex. The one by Rubido. Oh gosh, dude, I forgot my wallet is with Polly. Gotta go back. And he's a liar. This is Baker's. Oh, uh, pretty good. <laughs> we're filming Dan White. Can I get a number one pop up? I wouldn't get it. That sounds so dumb, Morgan. Oh, uh, what? Coke. Yeah, that's all. I'm sorry? No, I'm cool. For here. Five of five? Yeah, five cents. He's got the five cents. I got the five cents. Friday Mullen gave me the sticker at a demo like three years ago. I still have it on wallet. Five twenty? Needs to go off. No, but it's a day in the life, so he's got to get the oh, yeah. day in the life. Must yeah, dude, it's not the day in the life without the you bakers. You don't have bakers in your life, do you? No. That sucks. That's why we come here. We don't come here to escape. My order is... Brian's gonna see this video, right? Oh. Looks so fake, dude, in the camera. Looks plastic. <laughs> you look like a gopher, dude. <laughs> I can do a monkey face. Will you stop eating my fries? Wait, yeah, do the monkey oh, face. Wait, wait, do it. Do it, do it, dude. Do it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, dude. I got the Sesame Street character face. Do it. <laughs> 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 oh, no! <laughs> No, break it. Break one in half. <laughs> I, I was smooth. Whoa. Oh, yeah! Dude, Alex had that, dude. We're going with Baker's. We're going to Rubido. Go rip it up. Let's go, Rubido. <laughs> Knocked over my drink too. Is that record? Look at this. It was a great session, dude. Like, I did all my tricks. I had a lot of fun. We're probably gonna go home after this. We pretty much did every trick on the ledge. We didn't film it. We don't. We don't usually film stuff. But we don't care. And I'm pretty much gonna go home and go to bed after this. I'll see you at the house. Day's over. Hope you liked our little video. The last four seconds was nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. No, and uh, watching the end is pointless. Just don't you're watch watching it. nothing right now. Just watch it over and over. That's what you should do. So if you're wondering, is it strange to like re-enter your life? and get to see a whole day in your life documented 20 years later, yes. It's also really fun. I had so much fun going through this footage and just noticing the differences in how I acted and my, my personality and how I like reacted to things. Um, you know, of course, 20 years later, you're gonna be a different human being, but uh, there was a lot of stuff that still resonated with me and it was just kind of nice seeing myself as a lighter person because as much as, as fluffy as I am here on YouTube most of the time, I am human. You know, I've got a lot of stuff going on, running businesses, uh, running YouTube channels, like being a dad, being a husband, all this stuff. So to see myself where like all I had to do was wake up, skate, have fun, eat fast food, and then call it a night, it was like, I don't know, it's just really cool. And another thing I wanna say is that by watching this footage, it was such a deep reminder how much I purely love skateboarding. Like, it gave me and is giving me some of the greatest memories of my life. And there's just something about being a skateboarder and the friends you make. I know there's nothing like skateboarding as a whole. It is just, it's the best. It means so much to me. And watching this footage just made me wanna go out there, just practice and get back to where I'm jumping down handrails like I was in this video. And But as long as I'm growing and enjoying and going on to the adventure, that's what matters. All of the dudes in this video, if I were to hang out with them today, it would be like, we're dudes, we're, we're brothers. Uh, just because like the people you meet in skateboarding are just like there forever. But actually, so Scott, 
The guy that in the black shirt, uh, that, that uh, he was killing it in this video. Actually, everyone did pretty awesome. Um, but he did really good. He uh, still skates this day, and he's even better now. Like, he is so good. Uh, maybe I'll get him in some like modern videos where you can see his skating, but he is, gosh, he's good. Scott, if you're watching this, you are the best skateboarder in Cincinnati right now, I swear. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I do want to say that the skate shop in there, Crook's Skate Shop, is still around today. And if that is not dedication to skateboarding, I don't know what is. Uh, so Alan, he gave me his blessing to put this in there. Um, Alan, you are, you're the best. Guys, if you're in, in anywhere near Riverside, California, stop in and support. I say this in every single one of my videos that if you have a local skateboard shop, buy from them. And they can always carry whatever I do. But I mean it. I'm not, not, and never gonna stop saying that. So Crook Skate Shop, I am so hyped you're still around. And I can't wait to actually stop by myself whenever I can start traveling around the world again. But uh, I do have more tapes. So maybe I'll find some gems in here. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. FYI, I was wearing a rubber dish glove because I had wounds on my hand and my... 17 year old brain was like, hey, you should probably just put this glove on. It won't hurt. It did work. All right, I'm done rambling. Let me know what you guys thought about this. If you want to see more videos, I do videos all the time. So hit the subscribe button. Um, if you want skateboarding gear, like I said, I have it online skate shop, theshredcourse.com. But if you have a local shop, walk into there or do a curbside pickup, whatever you feel safe doing, and support your local scene that supports you back. So uh, that's it. You guys. Enjoy, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And for the bonus clip, I have the most ironic clip of all time. Just watch what I say and you'll understand. It's really stupid talking to a camera. It's like if you're on a videotape, people are gonna be watching it. So. You know how dumb that is? Are you recording stuff? No. I don't think so. That clip's pretty priceless, but I do want to say that I'm just joking around and uh, I always film videos and talk to the camera, uh, even back then, so uh, I, I was joking. I, I wasn't really bashing on what I do in the future. I would have been really hyped and very excited to know that I was going to have anything to do with skateboarding in my future, so still the best clip ever. It's hilarious. I'm done.